first political war of words was started by A.K. Anthony. Little did he know that when he spelt out the winning formula for his party for the 2024 general elections, it would almost be like an expose on the Congress and the kind of politics it has practiced so far. What did A.K. Anthony say? He said that the Congress should take the majority community along with it to bring down the BJP from power in 2024 and that minorities are not enough to win this fight. Tunggu nampak macam mana boleh? Indah jeringal ini buruk macam, buruk sama dengan ayam. Indah kerana, buat Muslim punya, pelil punya, Kristiani juga pelil punya. Ayat awal surat itu kalau ada gilam, ambil itu boleh, netil teragan jati al, jangan nak kuli tal, orang mana awal mudah, sab indah tak, ceri ke nurut sahih beram. Now, Ike Anthony also asserted that the majority of people in India are Hindus and the majority community should be marshaled in the fight against the Prime Minister. In response, the BJP said that the Congress has always treated people like vote banks and now that they have woken up to the power of the Hindu vote bank, finally, they are coming around. political वो रूम में टोपी और रोड पे तिलक और रूम में टोपी और रोड पे तिलक लगा करके अपने आप को सेकुलरिज्म का सियासी सूरमा बताते रहे लेकिन उन्होंने इस तुष्टीकरण के जरिए देश के एक बड़े वर्ग का जिस बेदर्दी और बेशर्मी के साथ सियासी शोषण किया उससे वो प्रगति की धारा से दूर होते गए वो समाज का हिस्सा अब उनको लगता है कि मोदी जी ने जिस समावेशी समृद्धि की बात जिस सर्विस सर्विसपर्शी सशक्तिकरण के रास्ते पे देश को आगे बढ़ाया है हमें उस रास्ते पे चलना होगा जो हम 50-60 साल से जिस रास्ते पे चल रहे थे वो फेल हो चुका है तो उसके लिए नकल के लिए अकल चाहिए You're watching the news hour at 10, debate number two on Times Now, Super Prime Time. Chaudhary and Professor Sangeet Raghi continue with us. We are joined by political analyst Dushant Nagar. My first question is to spiritual guru Swadvi Jaya Bharti. Swadvi ji, you should be happy that the Congress also is now accepting that Hindus also need to be courted. Uh, well, as far as I'm, um, I, I don't think there's much for me to be delighted there. Because, uh, you know, uh, my memories are quite tarnished with uh, what, how, I, how my faith and how Hinduism has been spoken uh, in the past. So I remember uh, the same party. They, uh, I'm not actually trying to make a political statement here, but as I've been called from the spiritual and the religious context, I'll try and make my point from that side. So uh, I know from where the Bhagwa terror or the Hindu terror, uh, you know, the, this word was coined, it came from the political leader of the same party. Hmm. Then also, you know, uh, objecting whether going to the court and uh, telling whether Lord Ram existing or not existing, questioning the very existence of Lord Ram came from there. Then obviously, uh, you know, talking about whether, you know, uh, now, uh, Every time when there was the Kashi Vishwanath temple, the Ram Mandir temple, every time the objection and whenever we spoke about any temple or my religious identity or my deities or my faith symbols, we've been bashed uh, and, you know, whole burden of secularism has been there. I do not even forget that we, at one point in time, uh, before 2014, uh, we actually were, uh, you know, facing this communal violence bill coming along mm. and which we actually escaped by an inch where the whole burden burden of proving myself not guilty was on me and I was like I want to be held guilty until proven innocent was the basic tenet of that act that was coming along so finding that okay uh, you know for some reason whatever political dynamics have changed or something sort of you know uh, the uh, Hindu uh, might or the Hindu electoral might has been concentrated by one party and then now we are feeling that you know there are no more uh, you uh, fragmented or uh, you know segregated or sectorized uh, Hindu electorate. So we need to go and we need to put Hindus 
comes across some other party or their opponents. So it, I know, you know, the communities and uh, Indian politics have been tarnished by this communal and religious in, uh, instincts. We know, we do understand all the parties do that. Okay. But how easy it would be to, uh, you know, put one community which has been actually promoted by one political image, will they will succeed to turn the tables around and, Kamal you Zaman know, Chaudhary, uh, take like that elephants, mileage. the I'm, entire I'm, community will not forget. The scars of the past will never let there be a rapprochement between the Hindu community and the Congress. Now, <clears throat> no, Padmaja, it's very wrong to say that the Hindi community is not there with us. What Anthony Sub meant was that the Hindu votes, minority votes, the OBC, the SCST, the marginalized section need to come back to the Congress. That is the very basic purpose of the Bharajodo Yatra that we are undertaking right now. Anthony Saab wanted to take along all sections who have left under various phases. One thing you must remember that the majority appeasement politics of Bharatiya Janta Party has been seen through already. A party which does not wow. field a Muslim candidate in its list of uh, 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 what are your nominations can't speak only about one community in a secular India. Even you see the sitting chief minister of Assam, Himanta Bishya Sharma, Padmaja, now he declared happy. we do not need Mia now votes, happy, we do not Padmaja. need Muslims. Af the <laughs> political isolation of the Muslims needs to stop here. You clearly are yes, not listening yes. to Mr. Anthony. Okay, you are actually reading please? from the old <laughs> Yes, go on. Yes, Padmaja, now question. I'm happy. Ms. Bharti, you yes. asked me whether I'm happy. I was happy or not, Padmaja. Now I'm really happy. No, let me finish, I remember, please, Padmaja. You know, now Padmaja, this, uh, I'm, I'm speaking for a okay, very, okay, very you go ahead. location. Yeah, please go ahead. These please go people, ahead. I would have things know, to say. They, I'll take they, wait for my time. Propagate. Yeah, yeah, please, please. I know, I know you have got nothing much to say, but then still then I will listen to you. First and foremost, you know, these people, they are propagating mm. that theory or rather that uh, hypothesis about Hindu khatre mein hai, mm. have never been able to substantiate any of their facts by any empirical data so far to date that the minorities or rather whatever I specifically Sir, say... let Muslims me again draw you back to what Mr. Anthony said. Over the Mr. Anthony, we are not here it for a larger debate on kaun khatre mein hai aur nahi it, khatre mein hai. Never, right now, Mr. Happened. Anthony's advice was ki Congress khatre mein hai, so then you better get your act together that the madam that and you reach out to everyone. Spoke. Don't alienate no, no, the Hindus. Congress ideology is never yes. a khatre mein the 135 years from... Sir, this is not about the larger Hindus, debate, either OBCs, about the Congress SCSTs, or about the, the Hindu electorate. Yeah, it is I about Mr. Anthony saying that, you know, that, to bring that listen, listen, you have alienated an entire community, Padmaja, better you get your act together. Of Anthony Saab. Padmaja, a, a moment please. Sir, please would you allow me? It is, you know, Padmaja, you asked Padmaja, whether I was happy or not, Anthony but it is a very delightful thing to see. comment was to bring all the sections of the society together into Why so bringing late, this sir? begotten so government of the BJP Why down. So that is the only motto and that is our objective. So Why the Congress's motto is Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas. Quick, quick Why rebuttal, so uh, Sadhvi Jaya Bharti. I want to bring in Professor yeah. Sangeet Ragi. Yes. You know, I this the whole journey from our former PM saying that the resources of India, you know, the first right on the resources of the country is of the minorities and not of the majority Hindu. Right, this has come from the then PM and they know they, the PM belongs to the party and now the same leaders, you know, I see them going to the temples, wearing janeus, mm. doing the sashtang pranam and today they are saying we need to take mm. Hindus along. That means they have accepted that they were not take, they had not taken Hindus along since the beginning. So now they have to make the effort. Their mm. very statement is telling what is being given is that this is nothing out of the blue which is being said. All he's saying is take everyone along. Sabka saad, sabka vikas. But when we try to outreach each and every section of the society, you uh, find a problem. Padmita. Because for you, you have got the Hindu okay, one at a time, sir. Go on. as your sole pattern. That you can only market that. You have been marketing this. Padmaja, 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 and Mr. Antony has given a slapotherapy to the whole, uh, you know, secularism, boggy, uh, you know, cherished by the Congress party. The matter of fact is that even during the partition, the Congress was preoccupied with Muslim sensibilities. Either it was hostile towards or it was insensitive to the Hindu sentiments. And this hostility to the Hindu sensibilities and, you know, it continued even after independence. 
The enemy property which should have been depicted here in India went to the work boards. And the Congress party played the Muslim appeasement even after partition of the country. Every time it is asked that Hindu khatre mein hai, nahi hai, are Afghanistan chala gaya, Pakistan ban gaya, Bangladesh ban gaya, ek hissa jo hai, wo ek bahut bada bharat tha, wo toot karke bhikar gaya hai. And it is all because of the Muslims. The Muslim demography did this. And yet people say that, where are Hindu in khatre mein? Khatre mein to 200 saal mein Hindu a gaya. And hundred, more than hundred districts now have become, you know, Muslim dominated districts. And what happens in the Muslim dominated districts, everybody knows. Ye Muslim ilaka hai, Hindu bhaag jau. This happens in uh, uh, Pashim Bengal. This is, this is the TV Rajeshwar report, you read it carefully, that the Hindus from the border area left by selling their property. You know, so important point is that this kind of a Muslim appeasement became counterproductive. Hmm. Congress earlier played the politics of 15% Muslim given the fact that, lo, Hindus are divided along the caste lines. So if we put up a candidate from a particular community, particular caste in a particular combination, constituency, given the Muslim vote bank consolidated behind the Congress party, we win the election. So BJP turned the table. So now fire out. We will not be talking about and BJP, I, I would be appealing. BJP would be doing right thing if it fails only the Hindu candidates. Because ultimately, I know that the BJP is trying to, you know, do sabka saath, sabka visaad, viswas. But the matter of fact is that the BJP is not getting more than 6% votes, despite all efforts. Okay. The Muslim betrayed Atal Bihari Bajpayee, despite all, you know, favorable overtures toward the Muslims. He was depicted as a very good person, very good politician, very liberal person. But when it came to vote, the Muslims sided with the radical forces. Okay. So this lesson BJP must learn. Dushan and, Nagar. And the matter of fact is that now the now 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 the people of this country, Hindus, are consolidated. They understand that the Congress has done everything to re-Islamize this country. Now the Hindus are very sensitive and they have become very careful about it. Dushan Nagar, the other thing that A.K. Antony said, which was very interesting, he said that every time somebody in the Congress even puts a tilak, it is branded soft Hindutva. And that is not something that is working to the Congress's favor. Basically, he's exposing the fault line in his own party where everyone who even tries to do what Kamar Zaman Chaudhary is calling Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, unko immediately brand kar diya jata hai. Oh, he's, you know, soft Hindu. He's trying to play a double game with the BJP. Is he going close to the BJP? These are the fault lines that exist. Dekhye, kul milake, जो एक एंटोनी साहब का कहने का मतलब है उनका कहने का तात्पर्य अगर हम सही से निकालें वर्तमान राजनीतिक परिदृश्य में तो उनका कहना है कि भाई कांग्रेस पार्टी भारतीय जनता पार्टी से परसेप्शन के खेल में हार रही है परसेप्शन में पिछड़ रही है कांग्रेस पार्टी का जो सांस्कृतिक विभाग है वो सही से चीजों को नहीं रख पा रहा है कांग्रेस पार्टी ने सभी धर्मों का आदर किया है और भारतीय जनता पार्टी भी मुझे लगता है ऐसी ही है लेकिन भारतीय जनता पार्टी बहुसंख्यक वर्ग को रिझाने के लिए कुछ ना कुछ ऐसी एक्टिविटीज करती रहती है कि जिसका लाभ वो वोट बैंक के रूप में ले लेती है वही कांग्रेस तो उसमें पिछड़ी हुई है। लेना चाहिए। असली कहानी है अगर आप भगवा आतंकवाद कहेंगे तो कोई तो नहीं रिझा पाएंगे ना फिर तो भगा ही पाएंगे ये तो ये हुआ किसी को पत्थर मार करके कहो कि आप मेरे दोस्त बन जाओ परसेप्शन में कांग्रेस कैसे पिछड़ती है भाई किसी को गाली दे रहे हो और वो आपसे नफरत कर रहा है तो वो परसेप्शन नहीं है वो कांग्रेस कैसे है पिछड़ अरे मैडम तो तो परसेप्शन यही होगा ना कि आप मुझसे नफरत करते हो अगर आप मुझे गाली दे रहे हो तो परसेप्शन में आप किसी को आतंकी बुला के उसके दोस्त तो नहीं बन सकते दुश्मन बोल नहीं देते बोल नहीं नहीं देते ये परसेप्शन है कि मैं आपको बोल नहीं देती आप तो जबरदस्ती बोलने नहीं देते नहीं नहीं मैं बोलने नहीं देते आप बोलिए बोलिए ये आपका परसेप्शन का विषय है देखिए मैं आपको एक चीज आपके शो पे बताना चाहता हूं साध्वी जी ने भी बोला अपना रागी साहब भी बोल रहे हैं देखिए भगवा आतंकवाद का शब्द जो व्यक्ति लेके आया जो गृह सचिव तत्कालीन थे 
वो आज भारतीय भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकार में मंत्री हैं उस पर कोई सवाल नहीं है दो सीट हरा दिया कांग्रेस पार्टी को क्या भगवा आतंकवाद का शब्द कांग्रेस पार्टी लेके आई थी हाँ? नहीं लेके आई हाँ? गृह मंत्रालय की जांचों से फलाना डिमकाना सो कॉल्ड जो चीजें चल रही थी उससे वो शब्द निकल के आया आज वो भारतीय जनता पार्टी में स्वीकार्य है लेकिन कांग्रेस के ऊपर भगवा आतंकवाद का साधवी जी ने बैठते ही आरोप लगा दिया दूसरा मैं आपसे कहना चाहता हूं अभी चार दिन पहली बात है राम सेतु के ऊपर संसद में भारत सरकार के मंत्री ने क्या कहा उसके ऊपर कोई चर्चा नहीं है लेकिन यहां राजीव जी ने भी कहा साध्वी जी जया भारती साध्वी जया भारती साध्वी जया भारती काल्पनिक है कांग्रेस पार्टी ने कहा है ये नेरेटिव बनाने का प्रयास किया जाता है नेरेटिव जया भारती नहीं बनाती है नेरेटिव आपको भी पता है हमें भी पता है मेरे को इतने लोग नहीं सुनते हैं मेरे को तो आप टाइम ना उन्हें बुला बुला लिया मैं आ गई मैं तो मैं तो जो भुक्त भोगी हूँ मेरे साथ तो घटा है मैं तो वो बता रही हूँ मेरे यहाँ मेरे किसी मंदिर की बात बनती है तो जिस पार्टी का पक्ष ले रहे हैं उन्होंने कितनी बार कह दिया अरे अस्पताल खोल दो अरे स्कूल खोल दो सारी जमीनें वक्स बोर्ड को देने के बाद मेरे मंदिर के स्थान पे आप स्कूल और अस्पताल खोलते हैं उसके बाद आप मेरे को बोलते हैं कि मैं मुसलमानों के लिए खतरा हूँ ठीक है आप हर सब्सिडी देते हैं लेकिन आज तक वैष्णो देवी तक की सब्सिडी आपने नहीं दी अगर आपको ये खतरा ना लग रहा होता तो ये आवाज मैं दे दी थी आवाज आपकी पार्टी से आई ये आवाज आपकी पार्टी से आई की हमें हिंदुओं को साथ लेना है जब उन्हें ये चेतना जागी जब ये चेतना जागी हिंदू पिछड़ गया है आपने हिंदू का साथ छोड़ दिया है आपने उसे चीज करा है उसके बाद आपके अंदर से ही ये कॉल आया कि चलो बोला जाए मुझे नहीं एंटनी साहब को पूछिए उन्होंने ऐसा क्यों कहा एंटनी साहब से पूछिए उन्होंने ऐसा क्यों कहा मेरे एंटनी बिकॉज रिमेम्बर ही एड ऑल्सो ऑथर द फेमस एंटनी रिपोर्ट रिजल्ट ऑफ विच नो बडी नो सो फार विच वॉज अबाउट वाई द कांग्रेस इज नॉट डूइंग वेल इन इलेक्शन मे बी दिस इज अ वर्बल एंटनी रिपोर्ट that ak antony has given a word of caution for the congress let's see if it does them any good for the time being though thank you very much all gentlemen and sadhvi jaya bharti for joining me